country are talking about the new movie, Working Man, and the film puts the spotlight on the importance of the integrity of the working class. It's a timeless tale that certainly hits home right now, and here to share more on the film, film critic Pam Pal and the film's director, Robert Jury, join me now. Hey, Pam, we have Robert hey. also on the line, and I'm just going to kind of let you take it away. Sounds great. Thanks, Heather. Uh, Robert, thank you so much for joining us on WCIA. We really appreciate it. Uh, great to be here, uh, remotely as it is, right? Yeah. We're all living the, the strange days that is coronavirus, so we're, right. we're adjusting, right? We are, we are. We're making this work. Um, watching your film, Working Man, it really captures the heart of American small towns whose industries slowly dwindle, leaving not just the workforce decimated, but the town as well. But your film captures the heart of one man and how important it is to have purpose in life as well as compassion. What sparked you to tell this story? Well, the story actually dates back about 10 years. I wrote this post-2008 financial crisis, and I couldn't have ever imagined that when we finally got the movie made, uh, we'd be amid a, a pandemic where all of a sudden this story about an unemployed factory worker is now more relevant maybe now than when we, we first conceived it and even when we shot it. It's it's in and, and crazy, crazy circumstances in that it is a timeless tale. Um, you've got Peter Garrity, who plays Allery, the, the main character. And then you have Talia Shire, who I think a lot of us remember from Rocky, playing right. his wife. Um, this is, I understand it, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is your first feature film. Tell me about casting these two incredibly talented and familiar seasoned actors in these lead roles. Right, well... Uh, my longtime producing partner with this project, a man named Clark Peterson, made the introduction to Talia. As you mentioned, with, most people recognize her as Adrian from the Rocky films and, and The Godfather and a pretty storied career. They'd worked together, so she had experience with, with Clark and trusted his taste. And um, I believe we sent the script to her on a Friday, and we heard back a positive yes, she'd do the film on that next Monday, which almost never happens. So we were really just grateful to get Talia on board and Peter, as well as Billy Brown, who sort of rounds out that, that trio of leads. Uh, everyone else was cast out of the Chicago area and uh, the entire cast, uh, cast and crew, uh, uh, Chicago good. folks. So a lot of Illinois people involved. That's great to hear. Um, tell us a little bit more about using Chicago, its backdrop, and its locations, as well as its actors in the film. Uh, we had a pretty quick shoot. It was 20 days. Um, Brett Hayes was our line producer. He's one of uh, your Champaign, Illinois residents. <laughs> um, it was uh, just all hands on deck. I mean, when you do an independent film, um, there's not a lot of time for rehearsal, not a lot of time to uh, do a lot of the things that you would ordinarily do for a big budget film, but Chicago treated us really well. We were in and around Chicago for 19 of those 20 days, and then our last day of the shoot, we went down to Joliet, where you, in the film, you see a lot of those beautiful drawbridges where the grain barges come through, and I think people who watch the movie, particularly in Illinois and the, the Chicago area, will uh it'll feel very familiar it's it's rust belt america it's it's factory towns river towns a lot of us who grew up in and around these places i i think will particularly identify with the movie fantastic i think we all will identify with it um thank you so much robert for joining us and great film that we can see on vod starting on may 7th i believe may 5th you're close may 5th, yes. may 5th. that's right next tuesday <laughs> Very good. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. Pam, thank you so much for joining us. VOD again stands for Video On Demand. Is that correct? That is correct. Hey, okay, just got to make sure I'm up on all of my movie <laughs> jargon. There's a look at the Working Man's Facebook page. Go give him a like. Lots of Illinois ties here to this movie and definitely one to check out. We appreciate you both hanging out with us this afternoon. And for more information on all the movies that Chuck and Pam review, we'll connect you at skyliving.tv.